I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to solve absolute function inequalities using piecewise approach. So we are talking about three methods graph and or method and the piecewise approach. We have already discussed the other two in separate videos. In this video we will concentrate on piecewise approach. Now this is the normal approach applied to solve absolute function inequalities. So basically you have to write absolute function as a piecewise function. We have absolute value of x plus 2 that can be defined as equal to x plus 2 when x is greater than or equal to what value? If it is minus 2 it is 0, right? So on the right side it is positive and on the left side it is negative of x plus 2. So that is how we can define absolute function. Now once we have defined absolute function as combination of two pieces it becomes a piecewise function, right? We'll rewrite the inequality. So now the inequality which we have which is 1 less than which is to say 1 is less than absolute value of x plus 2 which is less than 3 can be written as combination of two pieces as we just see. So what we will do here is we will try to find the solution in two different intervals one where x is less than 2 I should say minus 2 this is minus 2 right when x is less than minus 2 the other one when x is greater than equal to minus 2 normally we put minus 2 I mean equal to sign with greater than now it really means that if you are working in the domain of x values less than minus 2 uh, let me draw a number line here to show what I am trying to say here let us say this is minus 2 for us right and um, so let's say this is this is 0 for us okay so if you are on the left side of minus 2 then absolute value is the negative value of x plus 2 that is what we are trying to say so when you are solving for this inequality in the domain on the left side of minus 2 let me show like this in that case we can write the absolute function as 1 less than now on the left side it is minus x plus 2 right so I could write this as minus x plus 2 and then this is less than 3 okay now we can multiply everything with minus and change the sign so it becomes minus 1 greater than x plus 2 greater than 3 now you can take away 2 from each side so when you take away 2 we get minus 3 and here when you take away 2 then we get so when we multiply I should have written minus 3 here so when you take away 2 then it becomes x you have taken away 2 and minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 so what we observe is that when the domain is less than minus 2 the next value could be between minus 3 and minus 5 that is to say uh, let me just extend let's say this is minus 2 then this is let us say minus 4 and then we have minus 6 here so we are saying that this value could be between minus 5 and minus 3 so let us say this is minus 3 and that one is minus 5 for us so the solution which we get from here is is here is it okay now you can see it does overlap the interval so that becomes a part of our solution so a part of the solution is that x is greater than minus 5 and less than minus 3 so we can write this as from minus 5 2 because that will be on the left side correct to minus 3 now let's see on the right side what happens when x is greater than or equal to minus 2 absolute function can be written as x plus 2 itself so we'll solve the double inequality 
1 x plus 2 in the center over 3 so x plus 2 should be between 1 and 3 when you take away 2 you get let me do the steps let's say 1 minus 2 x plus 2 minus 2 that's what we mean right I had missed this step here I hope not as clear so that is minus 1 here we get x and 3 minus 2 is 1 so in the interval on the right side of minus 2 the solution which we get is when x is between minus 1 and 1 so let us say this is minus 1 and this is 1 for us so the solution is between these two points correct so we get another set of solution which is minus 1 and 1 combination of these two that means this and this becomes the solution of the given inequality and that is how we can write down our answer right so the answer for this double inequality is that x value can be between minus 5 and minus 3 and minus 1 and 1 now to recapture you are given a double inequality write the absolute function as a piecewise function and then solve it in two different intervals as the pieces are defined so we have two pieces here one for x greater than or equal to minus 2 the other one for x less than minus 2 now when x is less than minus 2 absolute value of x plus 2 is minus of x plus 2 and when x is greater than or equal to minus 2 it is plus x plus 2 so rewrite the double inequality solve ensure that the answer is within the interval we are looking for and then write down your solution i hope that helps now this is a very general method which is most of the time applied so if the method is not specified you could always use this method thank you and all the best